for 24 hours at a time, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. And so now we have Niruma and Svenya together. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you, you brought out a lot of great photos, also yeah. during the Parayana. <laughs> yeah, this was... These are all from my old connection, a connection that I came across. I didn't have them with me up until now. It is a courtesy of dear brother Uwe. <laughs> Uwe was there and he says, let's get going with it. And that's how we came across some of these. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, they would have been still been lying there. You know how Shuddha is. He just, if you don't have to do anything, then don't do anything. <laughs> All right, so we will. I think we are all set. We uh, we've got the finding, so we will leave you there, and you can talk to them whatever you wanna do. We'll be back uh, in about three minutes or so. Okay. All right, dear. So. Still trying to undo the clutter here, but <laughs> so the moving's all done now. Yeah, it's all done, but Great. it's done. The unpacking will happen in its due time. <laughs> None of the one last box that remains until. Yeah. Well, so is this the 26th or the 27th session? I don't know. We'll call it 26th. This, this is the... Uh, we'll call it 20, 26th or whatever. Let me find the Gujarati version. <clears throat> Found it. It always kind of is so interesting for me that when I read the Gujarati again, <laughs> I I wonder is, wow, this is something, something that should have come in the translation. <laughs> you know, something more and some new, new phases of it, new facets of it. Mm. Uh, Especially when hearing everything. Or yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, you're yeah, yeah, right. Even in so many times, and you've corrected and edited it so many times, and still, when you dig it out again and read it together, especially when you hear someone read it, and then you get the explanations, there's always new layers to see and always new remembers to make. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> There is a possibility that we may have to have you uh, call me uh, so that I can get you back in the original uh, main recorder later on in the main uh, the sound. If if we you is there any way by the way in this new format for people you can see the questions right you can see the questions I can see the chat mm -hmm. you can see the chat no wonderful well that's good uh, because I can't but that's all right. Uh, so if they, if anyone of says that your sound is not as good, I may have to take you on this, on on this computer, okay? Yeah, right. David. All right. Okay. So let us start now. We are beginning. 
the uh, Jai Sachidanand everybody, or Mahatma Zakram Vignan Germany Satsang. Uh, and this is the uh, 25th or the 26th session on understanding Vyavasthit. Uh, and uh, uh, this is Shuddha and Svenya, please accept our highest namaskars. We bow down to the pure one, the absolutely pure one within you all. And uh, as we begin the three mantra here in a minute. I do want to see you though. Yeah, right now with the, in a minute, yes, this is, after when we do the thing, we will switch it around. Um, oh, I'm saying that, uh, that uh, Svenja's sound is not coming through well. Okay, so what's the, the okay, so now you do the three mantra and then we will switch you, okay? Let after the three mantra we will switch. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidan. Jai Sachidan. We have to we have to disconnect. You disconnect and call me, okay? So we wait for Ksenia on the other line now. Okay, Svenja. 
There you are. Okay, dear. Uh, so, we continue now. Um, I can turn my camera off, yes? No, you can um, leave it because so far the CPU is uh, is just right. If it if okay. it changes, then we can do something different, okay? All right. Um, so we let's just continue with the reading part, wherein the uh, uh, we are getting into the further understanding of Vyavasthit scientific circumstantial evidences at the divine feet of our Gnani Purush Dada Shri. Hmm? Wir machen weiter mit dem Lesen, wo wir vor zwei Wochen aufgehört haben, mit dem Geständnis von Yavasti, den sich mit den Umständen zu Füßen, mit den göttlichen Füßen, der ist gar nicht so schnell Könnt ihr nochmal ein Feedback geben, ob es jetzt gut ist von der Qualität her? Just asking for some feedback. We are having 97%, 98%, 99% of the CPU usage, so it might be a good idea to turn off your camera, my dear. Yeah. So let's see if it decreases it. Turn off your camera. Yeah, good. It doesn't change it, so so you can, you know, when I, you could turn it on if you would like to, please, again. 93, it came to 92. Wait a minute. Well, let's wait for a while. Yeah. And then nice. see if it uh, the sound, let me see the sound. Can you sing the Trimantra one more time, my dear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There seems to be an echo. Yeah, yeah the echo is it's not from my end. How about now? Is it is the echo there still? They are saying yes. They are saying better, but still we can go to uh, You've turned down your Ustream, have you not? I have, yes. Okay, good. So... I don't know any other reason. I it sounds pretty good here, but they say just do three mantra one more time. Now we have your nice voice, loud voice. Uh, well, we'll see. It sounded the same, but well, that's okay. Let's just carry on. We, let's carry on and tell them about where we are uh, at in the uh, reading process here. Yes. Also, should I can momentan nichts weiter verändern. Unsere Skype Verbindung scheint gut zu sein. Also, nicht das irgendwo am Ustream. Vielleicht könnt ihr zwischendurch noch mal Feedback geben, ob es besser oder schlechter wird, aber wir wissen im Moment nicht, was wir noch machen können. Ähm, lesen wir also weiter in Dadawani vom Dezember 2013. Die Seitenangabe habe ich irgendwann früher in den Chat kopiert. Ein Kurzwort sollte ich jetzt noch sehen können, also den Ideen. Wir sind im deutschen PDF auf Seite 27 unter der Überschrift. Aufzeichnung beginnt innen, stehe also die Verantwortlichkeit. Und das ist im eigentlichen englischen Dadawani F, Seite 22. Taking is happening to understand the liability. Okay, now see if you can turn on your video, my dear. Pardon? See if you can turn on your video. Okay, we'll leave it at that and see what happens, all right? Um, 
So we are going to uh, start the reading now. Uh, the uh, heading is, the taping is happening within. So understand the liability. Die Aufzeichnung beginnt im beginnt innen. Verstehe also die Verantwortlichkeit. Uh, the uh, questioner is asking: Do the evidences come as circumstances on the outside? And Dada Shri says yes. When the circumstances come together, uh, it all comes out and many other evidences will trouble one from within. That too, when the circumstances come together within, so they are called inner circumstances. They are scientific circumstantial evidences. You think that no one hears you when you scold your uh, wife at home. Married couples quarrel with each other and use reckless language in the presence of their children. And uh, they think, what is this small child going to understand? But what about the recording that is taking place within the child? When he grows up, it will come out in the open. Uh, let you read that much. Seite 27 zu lange. Tauchen die Anzeichen als Umstände im Außen auf? Da das steht. Ja, wenn die Umstände zusammenkommen, kommt alles heraus. Viele andere Evidenzen und Anzeichen werden einem von innen beunruhigt. Ebenso, wenn die Umstände vielleicht zusammenkommen. Sie werden innere Umstände genannt. Sie sind die sich bedingten Umstände. Du denkst, dass niemand dich hört, wenn du zu Hause deine Frau schickst. Wir Paare streiten mit dir. Wir wenden in der Gegenwart der Kinder eine rücksichtslose Sprache. Sie denken, was wird dieses kleine Menschen verstehen? Aber was ist mit der Aufzeichnung, die im Innern des Kindes stattfindet? Wenn es groß wird, kommt es als nicht. In the current time era, it is not worth trying to explain anything to anyone. If you know how to explain, then do so in suitable words so that even if they are taped, you will not incur any liability. Therefore, remain positive. In this world, Only the positive, by the way, that means that which helps, will give pleasure and all the negative, that which hurts, will give pain. So there is such a great liability. Uh, Nada is just writing that she doesn't understand Svenja or still very badly. Hmm. Anything else we could do? Well, I tell you what, uh, what you do is, you know, disconnect and call me again only with the audio only, all right? Okay. We're just trying to adjust our sound problems with our uh, main translator from Germany, uh, Nadia, Akata. Yeah, Svenja, sorry. Yes, Svenja? Yes. How about now? Is that better? Well, well I can't really say. Um, okay, let me, I tell you what, let me just turn off this other computer. I don't know whether that may be interfering, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, because remember I was trying to get into uh, and put it far away, huh? Okay. The sound is still the same. I wonder what's going on. Okay. Because uh, you're hearing me well, right? 
I'm hearing you with a little echo and it kind of bounces a lot. Your sound kind of seems to um, bounce around a lot. It's not the usual sound that I hear from Svenja. Is, is, I, I'm sure that's what Nada is, is hearing. Ask her if this is any better. Please say something. Just read the last paragraph again. Okay, the, okay. Uh, still the same problem. I wonder if you can just turn off your U stream. You don't need it. You and I are on translation. And then when you need it, how will we go? Do you have two computers or one? No, I just have one now. I used to have an iPad, but my iPad is broken, so I just have this one computer now. Okay. Um, let's see. You know, like periodically we, you can turn on the Ustream while we pause, you see, for you. Let's try if you can just be with me on Skype only. Okay, then will you watch the feedback then or someone no, else? No, uh, I guess Uwe can send me some notes on okay. Skype. Uh, Uwe can send me some notes on Skype or, you know, I can, Uwe can get you and me both on Skype something so that uh, maybe you, Uwe and I could be together on Skype and that way Uwe can send me a note. Uh, well, if there's any questions, they can send them, um, someone can send them. Some them will, some, someone will send it to you on your Skype mm -hmm. and then you will be able to see it and then you can tell me about it. Or you can also, you know. Also, wir versuchen es mal folgendermaßen. Svenja macht den Ustream ganz aus. Um, falls das irgendwas bringt. Um, und dann wäre es super, dann sehe ich halt den Chat nicht mehr. Wenn dann irgendwelche Fragen sind oder Feedback, wenn ihr mir das einfach, oder einer, am liebsten nicht alle, das per Skype-Nachricht um, schicken könnt. Ich mache jetzt also den Ustream aus. Because from my end, I have turned off everything else that is going on except the Skype and uh, and the Ustream producer, which is just uh, broadcasting, you see. So, so let's disconnect again, then you call me on Skype again, maybe, you know, you disconnect from everything and then call me on Skype, huh? Sorry about this one, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just... Uh, pardon us, this is just uh, in the evidence, it says, okay, now this when you again, and let's see if we can, okay, all right, now, how is that, Svenja? Uh, good for me, but I... And now you're, you're handicapped, you don't know what's going on with the group, right? Yeah. <laughs> well... Let's know for some positive feedback. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, let's see, if it improves the sound, that's what matters. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's carry on. So, in essence, then, coming back to this paragraph, this is the uh, the taping, the word taping is happening within. Uh, this is the subtle effects in the antakaran, the inner, inner machine, that are independent of what is happening uh, through the mind, speech and body. Also nochmal zurück zu diesem Absatz, den wir gerade gelesen haben in Bezug auf diese Aufnahme, diese Tonbandaufnahme. Das sind die subtilen Auswirkungen. Did you say subtle effects of the Antakara? Subtle effects in the Antakara, inside the Antakara, you see. Das sind die subtilen Effekte, die im Antakara, also in diesem... Apparat aus Verstand, Intellect, Chikt und Ego stattfinden. Yeah, and mostly it is happening within the mind. Uh, and in this instance, the Tada describes it is within the uh, developing mind of the child, you see. So these are all effects of effects. Effects of effects. Also das sind alles Auswirkungen von 
Auswirkungen. Also hauptsächlich besteht, geschehen sie in diesem Fall, den Dada hier beschreibt, im Verstand. Und zwar in dem sich entwickelnden Verstand des Kindes. Es sind Auswirkungen von Auswirkungen. And uh, yeah, this first question is very interesting. Dada calls it scientific circumstantial evidences. And how do the evidences present in front of us? We are the Rhinocelia, the pure souls, you see, absolutely free from this mind, speech and body. How do the evidences present in front of us? Hang on, Shuda, I'm still a little distracted. Um, Maren is writing now that there's no uh, improvement sound-wise, so I'm wondering... Okay, then you, you just continue. Well, um, okay, let's, let me do this. Let me restream it. And you also start your restream in the other uh, thing. Turn off the sound and we'll continue. You leave, you leave the Skype again. Or uh, let me restream it, okay? So I'm going to save this much and then restream it, okay? Okay. Um, I can only invite everyone to come on the phone. I've got the phone on. Okay, um, now, so you start your restream and let me restream it. Because I'm going to, that's the only thing I haven't done is to restream it, you know, like... Also wir, wir unterbrechen noch mal kurz ähm, und Schudder baut jetzt dieses Ustream Broadcasting mal auf in der Hoffnung. Um, ah, now Marvin is writing, the others have no problem. Now that is confusing. Okay, so, uh, then I better not restream, right? Okay, well anyway. Yeah, someone else. Rüdiger, kannst du mal eine, eine Feedback geben, ob der Sound besser geworden ist? Okay, I'm just restreaming it now, so I think you're fine. I, if you want, go ahead and uh, turn on your Ustream, okay. uh, but leave the sound off on the Ustream, all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, You have got no other programs open on your uh, computer, have they? Have you? No. Okay, all right. I, I need to re-enter everything now. Yeah, I only have the PDF open, but that... Oh, that that's all right. That shouldn't take any problem. Yeah, that uh, doesn't cost a lot of APU. Uh, evidences. <laughs> yeah, evidences. Evidences. And you see, the beauty of it all with Mahatmas is that they can they are not at all disturbed. It's Evident. not much better, they say. Everything fine now, so okay. that was a bit... Yeah, I see your sound much a, be a little better than before, for whatever reason. Maybe uh, if you're not using... Um, if you're not using any headphones or anything, come a little closer to the computer and, you know... Uh, yeah, fine now. Okay, good. All right. Okay, my dear. So, let's just start. It's the ex So, the ex evidences are external as well as internal. Uh, the evidences are external as well as internal and then they present as circumstances. Um, as with me. Die Indizien oder die Anzeichen, die sind sowohl äußerlich als auch innerlich. Und dann ähm, treten sie sozusagen auf, sie, sie präsentieren sich. Machen komm doch ans Telefon, wenn es für dich schlecht ist. And uh, uh, is she says that some, that sometimes in the absence of the external evidences and circumstances, it is the internal circumstances that continue to bother us and torment us and give us difficulties, you see. Und Dada schon sagt, dass manchmal, ähm, wenn äußerlich gar keine, gar keine besonderen Anzeichen da sind, dann sind es diese, diese innerlichen Anzeichen oder Indizien, die uns quälen. Uh, and and also the internal circumstances, uh, it's very interesting, the internal circumstances only bother us if they come together. This is such a subtle vision of our Gnani Purush. Just because something is going on inside doesn't mean that it will bother us. <laughs> Umstände, die, die stören oder 
Gerda muss nur dann, wenn sie zusammenkommen. Also einfach, dass einfach nur das ähm, da innerlich etwas vor sich geht, also dass da diese inneren Umstände sind, bedeutet noch nicht, dass sie uns stören. Sie müssen zusammenkommen. And if, to give us a simple example, the mind may have made impressions uh, and these impressions are sitting in the mind because of some words that somebody has said to you previously. But it is only when the intellect mixes with the mind and the ego agrees with it that the disturbance now begins inside, you see. Und ähm, ein Beispiel dazu, der Verstand hat vielleicht einen bestimmten Eindruck bekommen. Jemand hat etwas gesagt und das sitzt jetzt sozusagen im Verstand. Erst wenn der Intellekt und das Ego da noch dazukommen und sich einmischen, dann verursacht es eine Störung. And, 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 uh so there are the in, there is the inner circumstance which is what is going on due to the activity in the antakaran the mind the, the chit the intellect and the ego and then there is the external circumstance where things and events and situations are uh, are happening in front of you due to evidences coming together on the outside. So evidence is coming together on the outside and evidence is coming together on the inside. You see, two, the combination of the two. Also es gibt diese Kombination von beiden, von den inneren Umständen, also von dem Antakaran, dem inneren Apparat aus Verstand, Intellekt, Schicht und den äußeren Umständen, nämlich den, den Dingen, den Ereignissen, den Situationen, die um uns herum passieren. Und äh, wenn diese, äh, also wenn sozusagen Indizien, Anzeichen, Beweise äh, zusammenkommen im Außen und im Innen, das ist dann, sind dann die Bedingungen bestimmt. The enlightened ones, the enlightened one is described as the one whose vision is internalized and is focused on what is happening inside, inside, what is happening inside, because the inside is a mirror of what is happening on the outside. Und der Erleuchtete, so wird es beschrieben, ist derjenige, der, der seine Sicht nach innen gekehrt hat und auf das richtet, was innerlich passiert. Weil das, was innerlich passiert, ein Spiegel dessen ist, was äußerlich geschieht. And the, uh, you, you see, the external evidences have a connection with the internal evidences in multiple ways, but let's keep it simple right now. Uh, this, this is a very subtle uh, question, by the way. Uh, and if you look at it, the question is, do the evidences come out as circumstances on the outside, but if you... Uh, Do the evidences come as circumstances on the outside? In other words, what is evidence? Uh, the evidences are also happening inside and they come on outside as your reaction to what is happening in the outside. Also, vice versa, what is happening on the outside has a tendency to create some kind of a reaction within you on the inside, you see, so both ways it is happening. Und wenn man, ähm, also zwischen diesen Äußeren und den inneren Anzeichen oder Indizien 
gibt es viele, viele Verbindungen. Aber das lassen wir jetzt mal beiseite, um es etwas einfacher zu halten. Das ist aber nebenbei eine sehr, sehr subtile Frage, die der Fragen die hier stellt. Also die, die Frage tauchen, die Anzeichen, Englisch Evidences, das ist immer ein bisschen blöd zu übersetzen, als Umstände im Außen auf. Also im Grunde die Frage, was, was, ist, was sind diese Evidences, was sind diese Anzeichen? Und ähm, da gibt es sozusagen zwei Wege. Also einmal kann es sein, dass das dass innerlich so, so ein Anzeichen da ist und dass sich dann äußerlich eine Reaktion äh, bemerkbar macht, die äußerlich wahrnehmbar ist, oder andersrum, dass im Außen etwas passiert, was wiederum innerlich eine Reaktion auslöst. So, so there are three levels of evidences. One is gross evidences. Gross evidence collection result which is called circumstance. When the evidence is gathered together then a circumstance arises and that is called scientific circumstantial evidence on the outside. See? And then there is the subtle circumstances which is circumstances on the inside that happen because different things happen in the antakaran and then again there is subtle circumstance on the inside you see and then there is a third circumstance which is called circumstances of the speech so we we have that sentence in the charan vidhi do we not hmm? mm -hmm. es gibt uh, drei ebenen solcher anzeichen oder indizien ähm, wo subtil und Sprache und ähm, wenn diese Indizien, diese Anzeichen zusammenkommen, dann taucht ein Umstand auf und das kann eben auch ein subtiler Umstand sein im Inneren, wenn also diese subtilen äh, Anzeichen zusammenkommen und die dritte Ebene Umstände der Sprache. Da gibt es ja auch diesen, diesen Satz in Charanvidi. Ah, and this our, our role in this is to be aware of all of these circumstances. It is easy to be aware of the gross circumstances because they are visible to everybody and also uh, they are experienced through the five senses. They are experienced through these five senses. Eyes, ears, nose, you know. Touch. Uns gewahr zu sein. Und es ist relativ einfach, sich der groben Umstände oder der groben Anzeichen gewahr zu sein, weil sie sind und weil sie durch die fünf Sinne erfahrbar sind. Uh, whereas uh, the, uh, the awareness of the subtle circumstances requires an awakening to the self. In other words, you have to rise higher within or you have to become a rhinocele to be aware of what is happening inside. Most people are not aware. Even Mahatmas are not aware until it's too late. Mm. Während dieses Gebarsein, der über die subtilen Indizien zu haben, das ist schon etwas schwieriger. Dafür braucht es das Erwachen. Also dazu muss man zum großgeschriebenen Selbst erwachen und aufgestiegen sein. So eine Seele und ähm, selbst Mahatmas ähm, äh, bemerken das manchmal erst, wenn es zu spät ist. You see, the state of the Mahatmas like you and me is that no matter how much we do not want to say anything harsh and hurtful to somebody who is very close to you, it happens, does it not? It happens. 
you care for them, but it still happens. Und ähm, das ist der Zustand der Mahatmas, der Zustand ähm, von uns allen. Ähm, dass es manchmal so ist, dass egal wie sehr wir uns vornehmen, nichts Verletzendes zu sagen zu Menschen, die uns nahestehen, es passiert eben, es passiert einfach. Yeah, so, what it shows is that at a very subtle level, Uh, these, uh, this stock of the subatomic particles is there inside the Mahatma uh, and it is reacting to, it is reacting to an external stimulus, to an external stimulus, the breath, it just a uh, matchstick or evidence of the other person. When the other person comes in front of you, even though you do not want to say anything hurtful, it happens. Uh. Und das zeigt, dass es auf diesem subtilen Level, auf dieser subtilen Ebene einfach einen Bestand an Paramanus gibt, der im Inneren ist und der reagiert auf einen externen Stimulus. Also es ist wie so ein Streitholz, was da reingeworfen ist. Und das sind eben die Indizien oder diese Evidences, die die andere Person mitbringt. Die andere Person, der wir dann begegnen. Und äh, ja, in wenn du das sagen willst oder nichts Verletzendes sagen willst, das wird dann eben doch, wenn wir dieses Streitholz reingeworfen uh, it, it may, it may not It's a whole kind of a reaction. The external is happening inside, there is a build-up. And then uh, the third evidence, which is circumstances of speech, arises, you see. So before that it is subtly just boiling inside, it is just kind of simmering, and then all of a sudden in the circumstances of speech, It comes out and just adds and compounds the uh, disturbance that is already happening. Also, das ist eben eine Reaktion. Im, Im Äußeren passiert etwas, im Inneren baut sich etwas auf oder staut sich etwas an. Und dann kommt eben diese, dieses dritte, diese dritte Ebene, die Sprache dazu. Und dann kommt es raus und verstärkt einfach noch die, die Verstörung oder die Störung oder die Irritation, die dadurch, dadurch hervorgerufen wird. You see, Mahatmas carry a residual guilt in the initial phases of, our, of their post gnan vidi state that it should not happen, uh, that it should not be so, which I wish it wasn't there. But on the other side of the equation of the guilt is the exact knowledge which says that it is not under my control whatsoever. It is scientific circumstantial evidence. Und äh, viele Mahatmas haben so eine Art verbleibende Schuld in, den, in der ersten Zeit nach dem Gnan Hibi, weil sie einfach so ganz stark das Gefühl haben, das sollte nicht so sein. Ich wünschte, dass, das würde nicht so geschehen. Ich wünschte, das wäre nicht so. Und ähm, auf der anderen Seite der Gleichung dieser Schuld steht eben, die Erkenntnis, dass das nicht unter meiner Kontrolle ist. Es sind die sich bedienenden Umstände. You see, two Mahatmas who really like each other and are fond of each other may, you know, make special arrangements to meet each other after weeks of being away from each other. And they have the least, none of them have any whatsoever dream of even hurting the other person, but it happens, does it not? 
It does happen. Also zwei Mahatmas, die sich sehr mögen, treffen vielleicht äh, besondere Verabredungen, sich äh, nach Wochen wieder zu treffen. Und einer von beiden würde auch nur davon träumen, oder hat auch nur die geringste Intention, den anderen zu verletzen und trotzdem passiert wird. So, our Gnani Purush says that Gnan, and that is the sentence in the Charamnidhi too, the Gnan says that gross circumstances, subtle circumstances and circumstances of speech are of the non-self and are under the authority of the non-self, you see, are under the authority and control of the non-self. This is a very critical knowledge in operation. Science in operation. Ja, ich würde da auch in German. Ähm, also es gibt eben diesen Satz im Charan wie dazu, zu diesen groben Umständen, den subtilen Umständen und den Umständen der Sprache, dass die zum Nicht-Selbst gehören. Und ich gucke mal, ob ich ihn auf die Schnelle finde. So, is it in the last part? Give me a hint. Ah, here. Um, Lass das Wissen in meinem Herzen bewusst bestehen bleiben, dass sichtbare Umstände, subtile Umstände und Umstände der Sprache vom Nicht-Selbst... Yeah, it's somewhere in the last part of the Charan Vidi only, you see. Uh, yeah, I found it. I just yeah, read it. Yeah, right. Yes. And you see, uh, it's in the last paragraph only of the Charan Vidi. This is so amazing, an affirmation of this entire energy of scientific circumstantial evidences, you see, and the authority of the scientific uh, circumstantial evidence also. Mm. Das ist, steht im letzten Teil, im letzten Absatz des Charan Vidi, und es ist wirklich eine ganz, ganz wesentliche Information über die, die Macht der sich bedingenden Umstände. Uh, and, and you see, followed by that sentence is that grant me the energy not to interfere. You see, not to interfere in this that is happening uh, through the complex of this mind, speech and body that is in front of me. I am not that mind, speech and body complex. It is in front of me. Der Satz, der darauf folgt, ist der, gebäre mir die Energie, mich nicht einzumischen, was auch immer geschieht. Also in diese, diesen Verstand, diese Sprache, diesen Körper, das bin nicht ich. And it is followed by a magnificent sentence, let me be absol the absolutely and only see the, see and know, grant me the energy to s simply see and know only, see and know, the seer and the knower only. Hmm? Darauf folgt der Satz, dann gewähren wir die Energie, einfach zu wissen und zu sehen, hat Schiller jetzt gerade gesagt. Da kann Vidi bei uns steht, es gewähren wir die Energie, einzig als Wissender und Sehen dazu vermeiden. And in conjunction with this is a very beautiful practical application, <laughs> because the Gnani now wants us that even you see, even though you have this gnan of what is happening, uh, the, the next part about your getting, your getting very angry with your wife or your companion in the home in the presence of little children is a no, no, you can't do it. <laughs> Now that brings us down to the practical applications of this. Und dann im Text jetzt wieder äh, gehen wir dann über wirklich zur, zur praktischen Anwendbarkeit dieser Sätze, dass trotz des Gnadens und trotz deines Wissens äh, darüber, was passiert, du zu Hause wütend wirst auf deine Frau 
und auf dein Kind. Und das ist also, das darf absolut nicht geschehen. Es ist ein absolutes Tabu. Ja, yeah. uh, see, the first paragraph is Nishchai, the absolute self. And the second paragraph is the application uh, in worldly interactions. We have a heart. We have a heart. The worldly interactions, see. The second paragraph. Hmm? So Nishchai is the strong... No, Nishchai is the self, you see, S capital, self. Everything that is happening in this sentences of the Charan Vidhi that we described, that I am the absolute blissful one and all of this that is happening is happening to the non-self, you see. That is the Nishchai. Mm -hmm. hmm? And but yet when you come out in worldly interactions, this is uh, you cannot ignore what is happening to people around you. Through so you're referring back to the to the, the Dharma yeah, to, yeah, I'm referring back to the two paragraphs that we just read. The first paragraph deals with the absolute knowledge, you see, of uh, the Rhinosile and the doer. And the second paragraph, Dada Shri says, uh, yet you have to be careful how your speech might hurt the child, you see. You know, both paragraphs are, are true. The first paragraph is absolutely true, that is for the real. And the second paragraph is also true and correct from the relative viewpoint. Uh, this is very subtle because there is no contradiction between the two. The first one is for you and I to be in absolute, still, perfect space, no matter what happens, you see. But in the worldly interactions, uh, if the speech came out that was clearly hurtful, and the Dada Shri has given the example of the hurtful speech, not only to the wife when he is very angry with the wife and scolding his wife, but also the little boy is taping it all inside. His little tape inside is taping everything that daddy is doing to mommy, and so when he becomes strong and big, then he will really now be ready to take on daddy, you see. This is this is the interesting part of it. Yeah, but 
And so this is this gives us a very beautiful these two paragraphs gives us a very beautiful awareness of not only the blissful self who is eternally untouched by this, but also by the reactions of the non-self complex in which body, whichever prakriti we have, that may uh, re- may may be hurtful to others, and that is where awareness also must expand. It cannot be just Ishmin Rana Zile only. You see, the awareness must be also on the effects in this relative world too, especially when it comes to hurt, especially when it comes to hurt to others. <clears throat> Und äh, das ist auch insofern interessant, also dass wir, also was da steht in diesen beiden Absätzen, dass wir nämlich nicht nur das Gewahrsein haben sollen des, äh, des absolut glückseligen Selbst, der einen Seele, die von all dem nicht berührt wird, ähm, sondern uns auch gewahr sein sollen über unser Akutum, über unseren Nicht-Selbstkomplex und ähm, dass der verletzend sein kann ähm, für andere. Das ist This. also besonders in Bezug auf Verletzungen von anderen. The science of the taping is so critical. The science of the subtle taping is so critical that its awareness is not just a little boy listening to the father scolding the mother and that little boy continues to act as if he is not listening, he just continues to play with his little toy. It is, well, I mean, we just lost the connection here. Let me connect it uh, to stream again. Let's see stream again. Yes. Yeah, I'm not hearing you well either. Okay, now I think there was a disruption. You are a little behind, so now we are, I'm on right now. It is this aware this this matter of the taping the subtle taping that happens within is not with reference to only a four or five year old little boy who is playing with his toy listening to mother and father fighting badly with each other with loud voices but much more than that you see. So yeah, there was about the sound, but it may but, be taking a while, right? Yeah, it will take a while because I, I was off stream and then I just revived it. Now it should be better, I hope. Is it any better? I, I wasn't hearing you well either. How, are, how about now? Are you hearing me now? That's better now. Yeah, it's better. Okay, I think it's just. I, there was a temporary disconnection on your stream, and now we are back, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so again, I have to repeat it. The, it's, it's, uh, imagine a little boy who is sitting, playing with his toys, and all of a uh, very bad sound. From over, uh, whose bad sound? Mine or uh, uh, Svenja's? Let us see. Okay. How about now? Now is it any better? <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're having sound problems. Is it any better now? Uh, please make a break and restart again. Okay, so let's take a break, okay. and then we will restart all over again. Okay, let's just. I'm going to stop this and then restart all over again. Okay, all right. Also, wir machen eine Pause und starten noch mal neu in fünf Minuten. Vielleicht ist es dann besser. Tschüss, Dana. Okay. Would you like me to disconnect from Yeah, Skype? let's disconnect and then we will reconnect. I'll connect with you, okay?